Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Thursday, July 13th, 2017. And today in our Tech News Update, we have, of course, um, some interesting information about uh, Americans uh, that have been harassed online. According to the Pew Research Center, 41% of Americans say that they have been harassed online and um, had some kind of bullying. And it's interesting because I'm wondering, 41% is a high number, it's close to, you know, one in two. Um, and I'm wondering how, you know, for example, in a study like that, of course, probably, you know, personally, I, I would have had to say, yeah, I got kind of harassed online because on my YouTube channels, I, I, I got, you know, tons of idiots that always post things. So technically, would I, I would be one of the statistics there, but I don't really take it personally. I don't really care because, you know, they're just idiots and you just don't take the time to, you know, don't lose the time for that. So I don't know. It's an interesting uh, study here. And I'd be curious to see, you know, kind of more into the data and what they have actually, um, how they've been harassed and everything. Well, Kaspersky Labs, which of course is kind of in trouble a little bit, Bloomberg saying that you know they're close to the uh, Russian government intelligence, and that, and and you know, tons of little signals here and there that are kind of worrying, and we're wondering exactly uh, where Kaspersky stands in here. Well, it had a uh, effect as the U.S. government has removed Kaspersky from its list of approved IT vendors. So that, I guess means no more Kaspersky either services or antivirus or security for U.S. government. PC sales slump is continuing again as the second quarter of this year we know that 60.8 million PCs were sold and that is down 4.8 percent from last year. And that is interesting to see that um, nothing seems to stop the slump of PC sales. Apple struggling to sell PCs in the United States, apparently. Uh, it's down and it is uh, not good numbers, apparently. HP, the only vendor of all the vendors that actually was able to increase its sales at 3.3% from, from last year. But uh, the study seems to say that Part of the reason why PC sales are going down is that a lot of PCs have higher prices because of shortage of parts and that it shows in the sales. So basically, uh, higher PC prices, faster slump maybe. Apple will be building its first ever data center in China. Might be doing this probably only because a new Chinese law in effect says that all Chinese user data needs to be stored on you on the Chinese territory. So that would mean that Apple to actually um, do this will need to build a data center on the Chinese territory for of course all of the Chinese users data from iPhones and, and devices that they sell. In other news we have of course another part in our public Wi-Fi study that is very interesting. So, in today's study of the public Wi-Fi, we look at who are these people that use the uh, public Wi-Fi. Well, it seems that half of them don't have internet at home. So, in public Wi-Fi, what we see when you look at apparently a typical public Wi-Fi area and you see uh, people using the public Wi-Fi, well, about half of them don't have it at home, and that's why they go to public Wi-Fi areas. And of the um, other half, well, it seems that a lot of them are business users or workers in a area that as they have a lunch or as they have a, a break, uh, they go on public Wi-Fi because that's the only way they can actually use their computers or use devices um, when they're not at home. So... Uh, Interesting study that we're having this week. Be prepared for ads for Facebook Messenger. Apparently, it's coming very soon. 
and you will see ads displayed. Of course, Facebook trying to make more and more money everywhere, so ads will appear in Facebook Messenger. Well, a peculiar thing happening with Verizon, a partner that actually um, is used for uh, data and um, what they, they actually do is they store data in the Amazon Web Services. But the problem is that that partner didn't set the, the, uh, the security settings right. So the personal data was kind of just there and everybody that knew where to look could actually access all the personal data of every user. So um, now, of course, it's been fixed, but apparently millions of customers that would have called Verizon in the past six months for customer service were in those files, but Verizon says that there's absolutely no uh, signs that anyone have actually um, gotten this information. And so they say that probably it um, isn't a problem. But still, you know, shows the carelessness of many, many computer co uh, companies, basically, with security. And finally, is Intel getting into a panic mode? You know, we're talking about a lot about AMD chips and the Ryzen chips that are pretty amazing. And Intel had a little uh, conference where they seemed to just try to say that AMD chips were not worth it. They were low grade. They were just parts glued together and really, you know, not well done. And um, the thing is that comment not only didn't really you know go well a lot of people said well you know what that looks like a low-grade attack from intel and it really didn't put intel into a good light basically so um is intel in panic mode because of amd's new chips that's kind of interesting and so this was the tech news update for thursday july 13th 2017 if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you so much for following us on this channel.